Hello everyone, my name is Edogs and welcome back to this review channel. This video is called The Next Five Masterpiece Transformers. And if you've been following uh, this little mini series, I hope you enjoy them. I have about two more parts to go. This is part three, so let's get into it. So first, let me introduce you to the booklet. This is the original 80s booklet. As you can see, there's a lot of tape on there. It's really falling apart. And uh, we're going to go to a section, right? These are all of the deluxe uh, cars that they made. And there's 18 characters in total. You may already know that Takara Tomy already made their choice for the next one, uh, which is their masterpiece, Skids. Now, Skids is going to have two other colors. He has a red one named Reboost, and then there's a silver one, which is going to be called Senator Skids, which is from the comic book, I believe. Reboost is uh, the actual car that the designer drove back in the day when he started working for Takara, uh, I believe. I believe it's his first car, I think. So we have all the characters here. And uh, knocking off Skids, that'll leave us with 14... 14 characters made, uh, which brings us down to four characters left. So it was kind of obvious which one they should go with next. And that will be this. I'm going to be using the Transformers Earthrise Wolf of Cybertron Trilogy hoist as my next masterpiece. Uh, figure and there's a lot of reasons why we should have this next so here is the front of the box we have your transformers on the side h uh eight uh eight and up hasbro's uh stickers are here takara tomi is on the top and on the side we have this collage of, of characters with the art falling to the earth i prefer the white and red version of this but hey uh back of the box we have the product placements we have the robot mode uh, we have the vehicle mode. We have the uh, toy, the the tow uh, accessory here in the back, and barcodes on the bottom. <clears throat> and then we have Transformers Wolf Cybertron on the top. So here is the figure. Now his function is maintenance. Uh, he comes with one accessory, which is this gun. It's called the Twin Blaster. Uh, you can have it on either hand. Uh, I like to do the opposite. Um, this one is on the right, and Trailbreaker is going to be on the left. Just to let you know. Uh, I really like the paint on here. It's a really nice green uh, with some silver. Uh, we have orange for the shorts and the knee pads. We have white thighs. We have white <clears throat> forearms here. The Autobot symbol is in red with the white backing. Uh, the windshield is a very light cayenne blue, if you will. Uh, I like the silver here. It kind of does two things for me. It's either uh, damage, uh, war damage, or it's uh, rust from sitting outside. Uh, his eyes are a slightly darker cayenne blue with the silver mask. We have the black helmet. Uh, we have the lights on the top, and we have the wings. We have the orange wings on the back. So here it is from the front. Here it is from the side. Here it is from the back. We have the hazard uh, stickers, not stickers, but the hazard stripes on the side panels here. The back of the legs are hollow, but that is for the transformation. And then we have this side. And that's it for here. Now, articulation, uh, the arms go out this way. Near a little bit on the loose side. It's not too loose, but it's on the loose side. This one is more looser than the other. Not sure why. Uh, if I had a pin pusher or something that can like, punch that in a little bit tighter, I would. And there's a rotation here. They make the arm go way back like this. Or way back like that. Now the, the the shoulders are on an angle. There's nothing that you could do about it. That, but you can bring the arms all the way out like this. 
Uh, this waist articulation. You can go left or right. It's not a problem. I like the legs on this thing. You can go out there. And it's double, double jointed on the knee. So you can bring it down here. That would be 90 degrees. But you can also push it all the way back for the transformation to get more out of that if you need to. Bring this outwards on the, uh, on the uh, side. That's as far as you're going to get. Bring this out. And there's a little bit of dice level there. Um, for the arms, the bicep is up here. So it does move. The hands are 360 degrees. For the other leg, we can go all the way back until it hits this bottom orange here thing right here. You can bring the leg up like that. Now, if you want to bring the lower leg a little farther, you have to bring this down until you get it the way you want to get it. Get a close up of the face. You can see the, like the little vents in the face so you can breathe. And the head is on a ball joint, which is connected to this little panel that flips up uh, or down in this case. Now we're gonna do some comparisons before we get into it. So we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna bring in uh, tracks. And next, we're going to bring in Inferno, just to give you a scale of how they look. Get it on the side. Get it from this side. From the back. And from this side. And back to the front. Now, number one reason why this should be a masterpiece. Well, I would like to see these panels on the back of his arms. They could put a double jointed uh, piece of plastic here on a pin and the bottom part can flip upwards to where it's like even. Maybe they can clip into place or something like that. That would be nice. <clears throat> also, the backpack, this is not officially correct to a real uh, tow truck, but it's close enough. This is a, a gimmick to connect all your your bases together. And you could use it or you could not use it. It's your choice, really. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know. Uh, the I don't have any problems other than that. Besides the hands in uh, vehicle mode, which we're going to get in a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Which we're going to get in a second. The hands don't really fold away clear. In the vehicle mode, I would probably would like to see something else. Uh, actually, there's a nitpick once we get there. Uh, other than that, uh, the, I like everything else about it. I do. Uh, the lights here should be like on a ratchet. I think. I think it just should be something that this thing plugs into instead of just being free like this. But that's just that's just a little small qualm of mine. Second reason why this should be, it's a part of Diaclone. Now, Diaclone was made by a company called Joustra, which is a French company. I think they were a subsidy company back in the day. They made most of these characters by themselves before they got picked up by um, 
Hasbro and Milton Bradley back in the days. And then somehow uh, Hasbro and Takara got into it. They got mixed up into it. And now we have Takara Tony. Just to give you our brief uh, information on that. So because of Jostra's uh, version of these characters, they went by the title of the four-wheel drive Hilux Wreckers type. That was the name of the, the box that they had on there. They didn't have specific names or anything like that. That's what they called them. Uh, there was a red version of this, and there is a purple version of this. Um, so if we do get this in Masterpiece, we have two other colors that we have to figure out a name for. And plus that is a variety of you know options. Now let's not forget the original live action movie Transformers. During the last action scene, there is a white tow truck that actually tows uh, Bumblebee around in his uh, robot mode. And he, he, well, he didn't tow him around, but he kind of pushed him around so he can, like, still fight and stuff like that. So we could have a white version of this uh, somewhere down the line. But we also have to give those three colors new names. But uh, we're going to get into that in a second. So we're going to get rid of this gun here before we go into transformation. The third version... The third reason, as I say, is we can get our Trailbreaker. Him and Trailbreaker together <clears throat> will get us down to two characters left. And those are going to be the, the more difficult characters in, once we get into vehicle mode. So let's start that right away. So what I like to do is I like to take care of this back panel. Just pull this away like that. Bring this headlights up uh, and you want to you want to bring the head backwards like this. It's going to be on this panel. And you can see the, the different color of his eyes right there. And then bring this back and it clicks into place. Not a problem. Next, you want to take uh, the arms, and I like to turn them this way on a bicep, right? Turn them this way. Turn these like that, like this. So as the arms are facing out this way. Now you're going to have to adjust because uh, this arm has to be out this way, like that. Just fold it up like that. Next is the hood of the truck. Like that. Bring it up like that. Like so. So we got the tarp part ready to go. Take the legs. You want to fold at the bottom of the knee. Like this. And you want to fold it up like that. Now you have to push. And adjust until it pegs in together. I'm going to show you that on the back side. There's a peg here. And then there's a hole down here on the bottom of the foot. Now, uh, the foot, I forgot to mention, you do have a wide range of movement on the foot. I always tend to forget that. But um, you can just bring this up like so. Put it together like that. You bring this up on the torso. And you need to plug this piece into that square uh, opening. Like that. Now you take the arms, you want to bring the arms out like this. Like that, because they're going to get in the way. And what you like to do is you want to bring it down like so. And now there's a, a thing here on the side. All right, so right here, there's a thing here, and then there's a hole there. You just plug this in together. 
Now, if this doesn't happen the way it's supposed to happen, you need to push this up and move this in. Now, this this piece right here needs to move up to get that clearance, to, to get it in there, so to speak. And then you kind of disarrange this in the back. Let me see if I can try to do that better on this side. So you want to bring this down and you want to bring this forward because it needs to get out of the way. And you want to fix this in the back. So you have the same peg on the opposite side and you got this hole there. Right. And you want to push down. So that went pretty good. And you just have to fix this in the back. That's all. The the tow the, the towing apparatus here, you just want to bring this down and you want to push inwards like this. And there are two tabs. There's a tab here on that side, and then there's a tab there on that side, and they go inside of this uh orange thing. Plus plus we have these two tabs here on the bottom of the, the foot. So you just gotta make sure you get all of that. Sure that's all together like so. So now the front part is the fist. Turn the fist like this. This way you can't see the hands. But then again, the hands will you know be visible from the side. There's nothing that you can do about it. Bring this down like this. You want to bring this up. Now from here, you need to push forward because there's a cavity, there's a rectangular cavity there. Make sure you get that in there. And you have your truck. And this is supposed to be a Toyota Hilux pickup truck. You can use 83, maybe it's an 84 type of truck. I'm not exactly sure. I couldn't pinpoint it myself. Uh, but it's a four wheel Toyota Hilux pickup truck. Very nice, you got the chrome face. You have the lights are uh, kind of in blue to match the windshield. The side windows are painted black. Uh, we have silver hubcaps on the front, but not in the back. We have this ring in the back. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, my goodness, my something going on with me. And the same thing on the opposite side. Now rolling, it's not too good because of the the hands, and maybe because of these wheels. This one is not on the stiff side, but it sticks. And what you after that, you just want to move these back. I forget. Move these back like that. Now you can arrange that any way you want, and it does all right rolling. It's all right. Right, so for his gun, they tell you the uh, you stick it here. But uh, I think I found another place. So we're gonna go here first, and that's what it's supposed to look like. You put that on either side; doesn't matter. Or you can try to put it up here because there's two holes up here. Right. You just kind of kind of have to just wing this like that. You can put it up there if you want. That looks more better. Uh, the worst option will be folding it this way. Because that's going to make more drag. And that's going to slow you down as you're driving through. Now, and, and again, if you had the jouster version of it or the die clown version of it, 
It would say Wreckers on the side here and here. So, we're going to give you a comparison with my comparison. We have Jazz, as you all know, is going to be the most difficult to get, I believe, out of the out of the masterpiece lineup. But we're still hoping. And next after him will be Mirage. And once we get uh, uh, these two, will be complete. Now let's not forget. We still have Trailbreaker to review, and this will complete all of the deluxe cars that were in the original 1983-84 series in that booklet I showed earlier. And that's going to complete everybody. We just have to worry about Minicons, which will be in a separate video once I uh, figure out who's the next one is going to be. And then after that, we're going to conclude in part five, I think. Part five. We're going to conclude with everything that I picked in this series. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please share them. Put them in the comment box. I do respond to whatever comments that come through there. Um, share your ideas. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.